Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Anyway, um, they sent me this article here about Colorado. Um, Colorado introduces a bill with securities law exemptions for cryptocurrencies. Um, this is the, they're calling this the Co Colorado Digital Token Act. Lawmakers in Colorado introduced the Colorado Digital Token Act on Friday, which among other proposals exempts cryptocurrencies from certain securities laws, according to the filing. Um, it says the bill provides limited exemptions from the securities registration and securities broker dealer and salesperson licensing requirements for persons dealing in digital tokens. Um, and then there's also, it says uh, the bill further asserts that this new act will enable business businesses in the state that, that use crypto economic systems to obtain growth capital to help them grow and expand. So, what I get out of this, um, now you remember not too long ago, the same thing happened in Washington, D.C. Now, if you think about this from, if you follow the money is what I'll say. Remember, uh, not too long ago, we had Ripple and, and uh, several of the largest blockchain companies in the world had gotten together to form a lobbying group. They had gone to Washington, D.C. I remember the article. They had actually start. They went to a, a major lobbying firm in, in Washington D.C. And I remember because in the article it specifically said that the lobbying firm was going to get paid a, a percentage of what they were getting paid was going to be in XRP. That's not the kind of thing you forget. Not too long after that, we got the bill in Congress. They they put forth a bill in Congress. A couple of um, congressmen that w would make would create an exemption, I believe it was the Securities Act of 1933, I believe it was. <clears throat> but anyway, it would exempt, um, it would make digital assets exempt from that, from being securities. Well, now we're getting this in Colorado. So what all this tells me is that now these politicians are, begin to, are, are beginning to smell the money, as I say. And so once the politicians realize that there is money in it, and there, how could there be any more money than changing the entire world financially? Uh, in the, from the history of the world, this would be the greatest change to the world financially. It's the first new asset class since bonds in 1696. How could there not be a lot of money in this for politicians? So when politicians smell the money, they start making things happen. And that's what I believe that this is. And it's a good thing for us. So... Moving along, um, now I got this, I got two really good things. This guy has been on fire. He came, he started sending me things last week, and all all of a sudden, out of nowhere, and that's what I tell people on here: if you have good information, if, and you will send me good information, and I think after a while, people figure out what makes me tick. There are certain certain topics that I love to talk about, having to do with Ripple and and digital assets in general and the whole landscape with Wall Street. There are certain things that really make me tick. And if you listen to me all the time, you, you can pick up on those pretty easily after a while. Well, XR, X Men XRP, he's at XRP33. This guy gets it. He's figured me out. So he's sending me really good stuff. So first, and this is big now, people. I titled this, this uh, video after this. Ripple and XRP would develop explosively in the future, says Japanese lawmaker and ex-banker. So I'm going to read you a few parts of this, uh, and I'll butcher some names because these are Jap there's some Japanese names in here. Um, it says uh, Takisha Fujimaki, a former banker turned politician and a representative of one of the largest opposition political party Nipp Nippon Ishin, expressed his views on the future of cryptocurrencies especially about XRP and Ripple's developments in, rec in a recent Twitter thread. Referring to the XRP network topology map, map Fujimaki 
mentioned how the XRP nodes are spread throughout the world and raised a concern that technology is advancing rapidly and that Japan should get involved in it as soon as possible. The latest, this is a quote from him, the latest cryptographic asset related technology has come so far. If we do not get involved in such advanced fields, Japan will be lagging, saying Japan's technology is amazing and Japan's celebrate, celebrating cash settlements is going to be left in the world more and more. <clears throat> if the use of this XRP, this is a quote still, if the use of this XRP is representative of the use of cryptographic currency, then from this map it turns out that there is a possibility that the cryptographic currency will develop explosively in the future. And what he was referring to is this node map um, of the uh, XRP, the nodes around the world. And so he wants more nodes in Japan is what he was saying. <laughs> um, and I'm sure he'll get them too. Um, it says Fujimaka Maki added that cryptocurrencies like XRP along with Ripple's technology would be really beneficial for developing countries and in countries where people do not have bank accounts and do not believe in the credibility of the country <clears throat> or the or the currency that's me adding that if they don't they don't believe once people don't believe in the credibility of their currencies watch where they go okay and he says it says moreover fujimaki mentioned how bill gates foundation's moja loop a software that uses ripple interledger protocol was deployed in kenya in january 2018 Fujimaki ended by his tweet by saying that other countries in the world were already experimenting to develop a solution by inculcating XRP and other cryptocurrencies in their payment solution advancements, but Japan was lagging behind in such experiments. Well, um, what a great article and what a great uh, thing for Ripple and XRP. But what, what this lawmaker needs to understand and what you need to understand Last year, when everything completely exploded with digital assets, it was it most of what was happening was coming out of Japan and Korea. And it, and when when it all exploded, it was the lawmakers, the regulators over in Japan and Korea that helped to slow it all down by expressing concerns about regulations. And that's what we've been dealing with in 2018. So lawmakers of the world should all take notice. You are the problem. You're part of the problem. Get out of the way. And, and technology, not just technology, but progress can be made if these lawmakers will quit trying to take credit for everything in the world and just get out of the way and let things happen and let economies grow. Um, the, the, it's so frustrating to watch, especially as countries get large. I, I compare it to trying to turn a... Um, turn a ski boat versus trying to turn the Titanic <laughs> when these countries get so bloated with bureaucracies and regulators and politicians the bigger they get the harder it is to to really grow because these politicians they all have to insert their opinions and and it's all of course it's always done in it for the public good and they're so worried about the public but it always ends with them getting their their wallets padded and so that is is very frustrating to watch and the united states needs to be <clears throat> more concerned about this than anyone <clears throat> because you will not and remember today this morning there is a the uh, dx exchange in estonia okay in estonia i don't even know where estonia is but what i do know is that the dx exchange in estonia for the first time in the history of the world is tokenizing stocks and they're adding xrp to their platform today the United States is not doing it today because of regulators and politicians. But Estonia is ahead of us. They're ahead of us. They're doing it today because their politicians are not standing in the way of progress. Today, they are beating us competitively when it comes to digitized stocks. They're the first. Used to, other countries would be the first. But these countries, they get bloated. Politicians regulators all this garbage that are always doing it for the quote public good but it always it, it, it leaves you behind when you have to check all of these boxes ask someone who wants to build uh 
ask someone who wants to get approved to build to build a building in the United States how much harder it is today versus 50 years ago. <laughs> it's a, it's almost impossible. I, I think you've probably heard Trump talk about that. But anyway, <clears throat> regulations will regulations can be a good thing uh, when it's not overbearing and it's and it doesn't slow progress down. But anyway, moving along off that topic. Okay, now I've spent the last two weeks warning you all. This is from the Proof of Keys event. Singapore Bitcoin Exchange, ByteBTC.com, claims data center fire on Proof of Keys Day. Exit scam question mark. And here's what happened. It says on January 1, 2019. This is what they come out with. Now remember, Proof of Keys was January 3rd. January, on this is them talking, uh, ByteBTC.com. Byte on January 1st, 2019, a fire occurred in the data center where the exchange servers are located, as a result of which part of the data on the main and backup servers was destroyed. The main and the backup servers. Who puts their main, who puts their <clears throat> main and their backup servers in one data center? The whole pur purpose of, of a backup, I thought, was to have it somewhere else. All crypto coin wallets are safe, of course. They always say this. But we need time to restore the balance sheets and trading history of about 7% of traders from earlier backups. We ask to fill in the, we ask you to fill in the form to the support service with indication of your recent transactions. Please, I'm telling you people, this is how it happens. Now, I'm not saying that these guys aren't telling the truth, but I am saying every time I've ever seen th this type of thing happen and people lose their digital assets because they're keeping them on exchanges, this is how it happens. And then this is a, a person telling their story, says not sure who, who to talk to about this. Byte BTC closed its doors and stole everyone's coins, even mine. I had a lot with this exchange. I'm in tears right now. I cannot log into their website at all. I've lost two Bitcoins. I've never been this sad. Da, 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 da. Goes on. <clears throat> These are tweets from other people. More than 24 hours. Didn't get answers in mail support. What should I do? My account is missing. I can't access my account. Hmm. I'm still unable to log in. I will sue. Uh, I mean, so it goes on and on. And, and then this news organization went and tried to contact them and they did not get contacted back. And so that's where it's left. And they said that they're going to, they're going to get back in touch and that type of thing. Well, folks, I mean, I don't know how many times I can say it. Um, then um, I told you there was an announcement and this is a good time to show you the announcement. This was an article that came in, uh, from Coindesk, I believe last night this came out. <coughs> Excuse me. Last night, le the Ledger Nano S people, they announced that the Ledger crypto wallet goes mobile with Bluetooth ready Nano X. So you need to go and check this out. It's pretty darn cool. I've already watched the video. Um, you can go, I've got a link in all the descriptions of every one of my videos to go to Ledger's website. They have just started doing the pre-orders on the Ledger Nano X. Keep your, keep your crypto secure everywhere. The Ledger Nano X is a Bluetooth enabled secure device that stores your private keys. Make sure all your crypto assets are safe wherever you go. From uh, Now I went through this. Now with this new one that they have, which I'm going to definitely get one of those, but this will, you can put a Ledger, the Ledger Live software on your phone now and it'll communicate with the your ledger um, and you can go and you can watch the video um, if I can if my web oh come on looks like my looks like my site here is locking up on me but um yeah problems but anyway go to in the description of all my videos and you can check that out 